<sighs> Welcome back to Life is Strange. This will be episode four. <laughs> I always get so relaxed and just at peace when I hear this music. Oh man. Thank you for joining. This is the Suplex Grandfather. And like, subscribe, and share. Um, first three parts are already up on YouTube. Um, check those out if you like. <laughs> um, two more episodes left. Kind of rough thinking that it's about to end. Right after the last episode, I'm gonna be bringing Life is Strange before the storm. It's kind of like the prequel or whatever that came out like after this, and it was supposed to be like a DLC content, but then in the, in the beginning, it's like a own standalone game. That one I haven't, haven't beat. I probably played uh, probably like 10, 15 minutes of it when it first came out. But I haven't went back to it ever since. I don't know why. But I'll um, definitely be bringing that next. Like right after. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump right into it. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It goes like the most emotional part of the game. It just sucks, you know?
It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Damn, bro, it's this wow how her and William both got into a car accident, but the only difference is William died and she was paralyzed from the waist down with the neck down. Damn. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. 
But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a sign stall. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? <laughs> Dude, I am a pod and lost. <clears throat> Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. <sighs> oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Ah, 
<sighs> Here's the DVD. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat ready. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. There's the old Chloe. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No. I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> <clears throat> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh, it's not there.
They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And... be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe. If I wasn't here? William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. <clears throat> I have a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? Mm -hmm. no? <coughs> I get Being it. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. <coughs> Sounds like you know more. more than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choice is a food coupon boss. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Yeah, 
I'll do everything you gotta do. Kids always come first, though. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Nothing here. <coughs> it's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Real wild. <laughs> it's crazy all at the same time. Crazy and wild. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Damn. 
This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Damn. Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. So it might be the last time, unfortunately. Yeah. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. That's for good parents for you. That's good parents for you. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund even if it wasn't another reality. That's just a fuck. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. That's a serious heat lamp. Grab that photo album over there and let's have a flashback. Already ahead of you. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Some picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you.
Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Wait, what? Oh, shit. No, come on, bro. No. <clears throat> do this I had another friend who w wanted to end it all and I did everything I could to try and save her life how can I be responsible for ending yours I mean th there's got to be another way Max you were there for your friend no matter what now I'm asking you to help me the same way I want to help you Chloe but I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. <clears throat> the most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. What should I do? What should I do? If I can rewind, if I choose one answer, it's gonna be so detrimental. Yeah, her parents are suffering and drowning in medical bills and types of other bills. But losing their daughter will be so much worse than the shit they're going through with the bills, you know what I mean? And if I refuse, they're probably going to lose their house. But even if she does pass away, you know what I mean? They're still going to have that debt. It's not like it's just going to automatically go away because she dies. I can't, I can't, I can't do it, man. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But choice. And William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you. But not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. 
Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe. That's not fair. I am never leaving you again. Max, do you mind turning the page? I'm too busy, as you can see. I'm sorry, William. Hold on, guys. God, bro, this shit is so hard. <sighs> Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always.
You're back. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Yeah, because I'm telling her how she would take it if he did. Fuck is Justin? Yay, Kate. Oh, I love Kate so much, man. Huh? Absolutely glad we were able, able to help her. Not that fuckhead text her father.
Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. We will beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that <clears throat> money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. <clears throat> you should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. <laughs> She's so angry about that. Oh, of course she will say something when we're in the freaking room. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't really been talking much. This has been a lot of dialogue. Um, the most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. And there's one. Of course. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two, or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. <coughs> yeah, man, I couldn't kill my best friend. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Me personally, I don't think it was her powers that caused everything. I feel like it was going to happen regardless. And it's just that her being able to see the past, future, and present kind of like, you know, oh shit. <clears throat> yep, locked from the other side. Gotta get Frank ass about it is somehow, some way. <sighs> Guess we just going straight up in this motherfucker. This is about to suck major balls. 
Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. With him standing right there. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I, I am sorry. <coughs> anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists <laughs> live in a fantasy world. Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. Since only I know what's happening. That's why I'm working out the new Blackwell surveillance plan to protect future students so they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Oh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. <laughs> Is that a map? Can I look at this shit while you're right Surveillance here? cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. <coughs> David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. I can't tell you everything that's... Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended. I didn't have all the evidence. So, are you gonna tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? 
I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week. I tried. You did, Max. You even made it to the roof before. <coughs> I knew Kate was dead. That guy? Why do you say that? He's art far. Well, Black. I have a family. That's why. I'm... Although, you're like a walking. Chloe and I. Now, excuse me. No. But this is my official man cave, so no Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? For once I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Oh look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. Of course I was going to put it back. I'm not a monster. But, uh, what the freak? I wonder if David is going to the party. What could possibly be... What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? What's... Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. What's the freaking date they got together or Murray? What is it? Um. Shit. No, For it kind of. Uh... What was it? 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 Ah. It had to be the day they got together. Fox. I don't remember. I don't remember the day they got together. That will kind of make it much more I easier. Give up William, but defend David. Would Chloe hate me if she knew? Huh? I don't, I don't know if she would hate you, hate me, hate us. Whatever. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Uh, that's a touchy subject. She might hate us. The most expensive restaurant in town. David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Damn, I really forgot to freaking ah the anniversary. I really forgot. <clears throat> um, what was it? 2013? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, For once, I don't have time to search for the uh, I need to find a key. Ah, oh, the keys to the kingdom. <coughs> or at least David's locker. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Find a way to get David out of his cave.
It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Um, how to get him out of the fucking thing? David will not leave if I ask him nicely, so I need to create a major distraction. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Gotcha. Booyah. I am the key master. Empty. Oh. Oh, maps, notes, <coughs> coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> How the fuck? Back to Chloe now. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now, let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Alright, so before hopefully I get to make a choice. Nope. <clears throat> Max. Oh, Katie. Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it 
<laughs> Stupid question if I ask how you're doing. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. I don't think get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Ugh, time travel is such a mindfuck. This is an unrelated question, but who's going to Smash Con? I'm definitely trying to trying to go. Definitely want to make it there. I love to go to Smash Con this year, especially if Ben's going to be in my area. I definitely love to go. It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. But 
I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Oh. Love you, Kate. I really love Kate. I like Kate. <sighs> Wish I could help all the Kates in the world like that. Like how Max helped her. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. 
I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be soon. <laughs> yes, you will. I'll call you a freak. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. <laughs> Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right. Find out where Nathan is. Unfortunately, I got ended right here. But we'll be uploading this video on YouTube later on today, and catch you guys in the next stream. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.